Hello and welcome to RegoFix Tech Chat. My name is David McHenry. I am the engineering and technical manager here at RegoFix USA. A very common question that we get, or something we train on quite regularly, is why is tool holding important? What are the benefits of an accurate tool holder versus another type? And what benefits does the customer get out of having something that's high precision? The main job of any tool holder is, well, it's to hold the cutting tool. And it's to hold the cutting tool in relation to the spindle as accurately as possible. So you don't want the tool to have run out. Now, run out is basically tool wobble as it's rotating. So the more accurate the tool is, the more accurate the tool holder can be holding it and spinning it accurately. The importance of that is all cutting tools have flutes. And flutes are these cutting edges on the outside of the cutting tool. Those flutes are what make contact with the part and they remove the material. It's a pretty obvious statement. The best tool you could have is gonna have the least amount of run out. So how accurate is that tool holder holding the cutting tool? To give you an idea of just how important it is, let's bring up a graphic. On the x-axis we have the run out, and this is in microns. In the y-axis we have tool life. Now if we take a good look at the chart you're going to see that around 10 microns is where I have the 100% tool life recommended or, or listed. So anything that has worse than 10 micron runout means that the tool's running out more and my tool life is decreasing. You can see it's almost an exponential decrease. Anything with a better runout than 10 microns, you can see how quickly my tool life increases in an exponential manner. So the better my runout, the longer my tool life. The worse my runout, the worse my tool life is. Well, why is this important? It's important because you're trying to manufacture a part to a given tolerance range. And if your runout is too high, well, I can't manufacture to that particular tolerance. I might have higher scrap. I'm going to wear the cutting edges of my cutting tool quicker. Not all the edges will be doing all the work, just one of them or maybe two and the other ones are just cutting air. It also allows me to, if I'm on the good side, I have much less run out and I have a higher tool life percentage, I might be able to push that tool a little bit harder and get more productivity out of that tool, which makes that part that you're manufacturing cheaper. So having a high quality tool holder can definitely add to the overall performance of your shop and increase your productivity and decrease your overhead. Now, what is the job though? What, what are we actually doing? The CNC machine that you have is made to have a very accurate spindle. It's made to rotate with microns or submicron TIR in that spindle. And it's made so that you can manufacture your parts to those tight tolerances. So, if I can't take my tool holder and connect it to the cutting tool in an accurate manner, you're never gonna see the performance of that machine you have in your shop. The tool holder and its performance value and TIR values allow you to maximize your machining centers that you have in your shop. So I hope you see how the connection works between the tool holders and the cutting tools. If you have any questions at all about TIR, how it affects your machining centers, RegoFix tool holders, please reach out to your RegoFix technical team. We are here to help.